Shalom, welcome to this segment of Pillows on Prayer, where we're going to start discussing the second bracha and the words of what they mean, the bracha of Tchiyas HaMesim. If you remember, we already had an Atta Gibor. We already described Hashem as a Gibor. Gibor literally, as we know, means mighty, gvura, strength. The first time we saw Atta Gibor, we weren't talking about might and physical strength. We were talking about Hashem's power over His Yitzhahara, over His instinct. And the greatest power really about Hashem is that he has no instinct, right? There is a gibar, a kol yitzro, one who overcomes his yitzahara, his instinctual taivas. Hashem is not, it doesn't associate Hashem, this concept with Hashem, because he has no instinct, and that's why we call him mighty, we call him perfect in that manner. And this atagibor is different. It's closer to the literal translation of mighty. And what are we referring to? Hashem's abilities, and how he can literally do anything. Where do we see this in most? Tchiyas HaMesim, the idea of the resurrection of the dead. Only God could resurrect the dead. And because of that, we refer to God as Atagibor li Olam Hashem. You are eternally strength, strong. You have the eternal strength to be able to do whatever you want and do. Nothing can stop you and there's no boundaries or limits in what you do. We praise Hashem by saying Atagibor, you have unlimited abilities and unlimited strength our master. That's Atagibor Liolam Hashem. Please join us tomorrow with another segment of Pillows on Prayer where we'll go on in the second bracha. Again, if you have any questions, please feel free to email me at pillows, that's what you sleep on in plural, at bethjacob.org. Have a great day.